Yes, it is happening. Once again, cooking with snake. Uh, we got a meal, which probably a lot of you guys have seen on my Discord. As always, we're gonna have meat. So first things first, I already put the uh, mushrooms in, in here. So you guys can see that. Put a little bit of uh, spice there and uh, I forgot what, it, what this was called, but you don't need to know those things, okay? Well, we waited a little too long, so they're fucking stuck there now. All right, so we fixed the situation here and can continue working on that. So meanwhile, I have to check if the, the meat is, uh, you know, defrosted. And it doesn't seem like, oh well, I mean a couple of them, I can, I can deal with that, you know, I can deal with that. So now that we have put a little bit of oil in here, um, it shouldn't be glued to the bottom of this anymore. Oh shit. Um, so let me see what else we're gonna put in here. So we have a lot of spices here, okay, which I usually use. Uh, since this is mushroom, again, I'm not a chef cook or something, okay? Uh, since this is mushroom, you can use shit that you usually use for meat, etc. So like um, pepper, salt, and I don't know, you know, basilicum, if, whatever you have. I use basilicum a lot. Okay. Let me put that a little bit down here because it was really high. And um, so now we have to first we are doing the uh, mushrooms, right? Mushrooms have to be ready, like really good, uh, cooked really good. Because after that we're gonna pop into the vegetables, all right? Dude, wasn't I looking like that? I don't know, dude, the camera is probably all over the place. I have to do a lot of editing. But uh, anyhow, I was saying uh, vegetables, and after the vegetables, we have our uh, dear friend on the last episode, the Rushdi, which is like potatoes, weird thing of potatoes, like, yeah, you get what I mean. Alright, so we're putting the mushrooms in here now. Um, I can't do that while holding the fucking camera. So without losing a lot of oil. Oh, I'm gonna put some more oil in here. That was a lot of oil. It's gonna be needed for the next step. That's how you open the floor. That's how you open the floor. Oh no. That's how you open bags. See? Totally professional. vegetables to be ready and I'm gonna put a couple more spices in here, definitely. I forgot what they were called, but, you know. So, just a bit, just a little bit, not much. Yeah, these are on spice. I don't like these. I don't like these. I don't know. Close like this one here. And now, let's move over to the meat, right? So now we have to season. Let's see without the camera falling down. What we could do now is open the heat 
a little bit, not much, okay? And uh, let's put a little bit more pepper in this. And of course salt. Now we're getting all the other stuff. Normally I would do that before and then I would let the seasoning, you know, mix with the meat but right now we don't have much time so just going for it. You could also use a little bit of curry if you want. That's up to you. I'm not gonna use curry in this for this meat. much time for um, the vegetables here I I'm not gonna fully cook them because once um, we have to do it like the mushrooms you know once it's a little bit cooked put put it together with the mushrooms and then we'll go with, uh, do the rushti and um, at the end I'm gonna mix them all you know together with the meat and we're gonna put a cream sauce remember the last time the cream sauce that didn't really work well, but well, now I got an actual cream sauce, you know, or ream, whatever it was called. So the vegetables actually look really good right now. Um, I'll let it wait a little bit longer and then we'll mix it with the mushrooms. It is why I keep forgetting that I have this, this thing, so we're gonna use it. Not like that, not like that. All right, put all the uh, vegetables in here. All right, so we got the same stuff from last time. This shit, right? So, uh, let me put that over. These are actually really easy to easy to open. thousand years later all right and now we're getting ready and I'll probably some of you all are like dude you're using the same thing for which you use for the vegetables and mushrooms well you know you can clean it with water you know you just say you don't have to waste a lot of fucking dishes you know all right so now we're getting to the uh, meat which is slowly you know cooking and once we have the meat ready We'll mix that with the rest of the food, mushrooms, vegetables and all that. And then, yeah, and, and then you'll see what happens. Good shit, good shit. Energy Milk, if you ever want to sponsor me, I'm here. Yeah, now it's time to fuse them. So by the way guys I realize we don't have cream cream sauce. I I know where the fuck they went, but maybe I used but I forgot to buy another one. But this one is still delicious without without doing so for an extra extra taste I got myself a something called a yogurt drink uh, which is actually really salty but that fits with the uh, meat and all here and I was give it a try let's see how it tastes I'm a little bit nervous about the vegetables and all especially about the rushti because that one I don't think that one was uh, properly cooked but No, legit, this one, this time it's actually good. The meat is really good. So we seasoned that one really good, so. No, I don't know, it's good. And I think 
if we would have had that ream sauce, we would have added that extra flavor. And now let me get that one of these. Oh yeah, so good. So remember that white stuff I put. Um, so I, I I forgot what that other thing was called. It's not onions, but there's that other white thing looked like that look, look, look like looks like onions. That that what it was that powder of that. So anyhow, guys, that's it. That was that was a good meal. Thank you for watching. You're probably like, say, why did you do this video? Really good question. It's all because of Nerva, okay? Thank Nerva for that. See you guys.